Hello everyone and welcome to today's video about the ROG Xbox Airline X and in today's video we're gonna do something different we're gonna disassemble it and see how easy it is to do some parts upgrading and repairs and whatnot so the first thing that you need to take note is that when you unscrew all of these holes they are um, one two three four five six seven eight screws three more underneath here um, there are two screw lengths so you got one long screw here and then another short screw the long screw goes into this 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 hole these four holes and this screw here you don't have to take it out because you actually can't take it out you're not supposed to take it out and uh, it's a screw hole that helps you pop out the back panel so when you unscrew it this part will open a gap for you to slot in a shimmy tool like this one and then you can just pop up the clips and you have an easier time to access the innards of the ROG Xbox Ally X. These three screws at the bottom here are actually using the short screws that you can see here. So you have to take note of that on which screw goes where. And then when you open it up, please do not simply just pull it out because there is a ribbon cable connecting from the main board to the back panel. I have already pulled it out this one just practically goes underneath this little sticker thing here do take note that you have to lift off this little black tape here so you can get access to the pull tab and you just have to pull it out pull the pull tab up before pulling out the cable now that we've done that you can see this motherboard is surprisingly clean and also rather empty because you do have a lot of empty space here which is great for repairability because you get direct access to all of the components and the connections and whatnot. So troubleshooting is also a lot easier than before. Um, I thought this will be a waste of space because you do have a little gap here compared to the ROG Airline and the Airline X, but still uh, they managed to put in an 81 hour battery in here, which is great to see. So if you want to repair, not repair, you want to replace the battery, then you do have six screws that you need to, no, five screws that you need to take note of. One, two, three, four, five screws. And then I think the whole battery module can be lifted up. Of course, you also have to disconnect the battery, which is located right here. Kind of difficult to get into if you have big fingers like mine, but that's okay. And then you have two fans here connected together via one shed heat pipe and the APU is at the center and then for the joysticks you also can replace it quite easily at least for the right joystick so you see you have one two three screws here and then one ribbon cable and then you can just lift off the entire right joystick for the left joystick this is a bit more tedious I would say not to say tedious just one extra step so the screw is hidden here one two three screws and then you do have one cable from the i think this is a hall effect uh, trigger so you do have one two cables running from the top all the way down to this connector here across the left joystick pcb it's not really a problem to get it out it's just again extra steps that you have to take note of so let's take out the joysticks because that's the easiest thing to do so starting with the right joystick um, I do like one thing is that everything can be done with just one type of screwdriver bit. I'm using this one. Not sure if you can see it. Yeah, this one bit can disassemble the entire ROG Xbox Airline X, which is fantastic to see in terms of repairability. Again, for ribbon cables like this, lift up the tab. And then pull out this ribbon cable and now this whole module can be lifted up and out here is the right joystick module and if you want to you know if you want to resolder a new joystick here you can but uh, i do think that for rog ally and the ally x you can buy the entire assembly this this whole thing as one unit. I'm not sure if it's gonna be available for the 
um, ROG Xbox Lite X. I hope so, because if you can replace the whole thing, then it will be just a lot more accessible in terms of repairability. You don't have to re-solder, desolder, and then solder a new joystick yourself. And you also don't have to worry about compatibility. So let's take out the other side joystick. So again, the left joystick is a bit more, uh, has some extra steps. So firstly, you have to disconnect this cable here. Slowly wiggle it out and then you can remove this tape together with the cable. Just leave it somewhere like this, out of the way. And then we can unscrew the three screws. Oh, okay. This screw is longer. You have to take note of where this goes. And now this screw is also out. Lastly, again, ribbon cable. Pop it up, pull it out. And then the whole joystick assembly can come off. There you go. This is the left joystick assembly. Do take note that both of these sides, the, the PCB design is different because the screw holes are in a different position. So you have to buy the specific side of joystick that you want to replace. Again, I'm not sure if the ROG Xbox Ally X will have joystick replacements like this as a whole unit that you can buy. And if you have, please do take note that if you are replacing the left side, you have to buy this. If you're replacing the right joystick, you have to buy this. And then um, one more thing that I want to highlight is the M.2 2280 SSD, which is located here. I think it's above the RAM modules all oh, right. So let's take out this screw. Uh, the ROG Xbox Ally X, I'm not sure what capacity it is available up to. Our unit is one terabyte. And then we can just pull this out, slowly wiggle it. The battery cable is of course in the way, but not a big deal. And then we can take out the SSD. Here it is, a Samsung SSD. Let me just take out the sticker. Oh, the sticker is also a heat spreader, as you can see here with the uh, gray color substance. And it does have a DRAM. Not sure what SSD this is. I'll leave some information on the screen here. Um, yeah. This is only a single NAND chip. So if you want to upgrade to a much faster SSD, you can just follow the steps in this video to take out the backplate and then replace the SSD yourself. It's that simple. I'm not really sure where's the RAM module because I don't really see it here. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter because the, the things that you're going to replace on this ROG Xbox Ally X is probably going to be SSD battery, and also the two joysticks. In terms of how you can access these parts, I would have to say they are great. It's a lot simpler than I remembered on the ROG Xbox Ally. No, no, no. Um, as I remembered on the ROG Ally and the Ally X. So, oh, I have to highlight one thing. Once you reassemble the entire ROG Xbox Ally X, you try to put it on, it will not start because it does have this thing right here which is the intrusion, not to say intrusion. Uh, if you open the chassis before, and then this light sensor will not allow you to boot up. You have to connect it to a charger. So do keep note of this. And that is why I say this ribbon cable is extremely important because it connects from the motherboard to the back panel to this light sensor right here. So yeah, if you have any questions regarding the repairability and whatnot, do leave it down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you out. Um, we do have more videos about the ROG Xbox Ally X on our channel as well. So hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in those videos.